Seen my videos out there, I guess. What's that? Oh, you seen some of my videos I had with Aaron? I haven't. We okay. have thousands and thousands okay. of reviews we do every month, yeah. so I don't. I've been with Aaron for four years. So. Oh wow, cool. And uh, he's a great guy. I, I, yeah, I quit for like ten years. I quit playing. I used to play some senior, many uh, events. I played golf all my life. So. Okay. And uh, so uh, Aaron's been with me, and it, I'm to the point now where I'm kind of like he. Because I see him handing around, says so if I was here, I could fix this real quick. You know? <laughs> but other than that, he, he's been really good. Yeah. I mean, he, it, it, a lot of us just, I think I said in the email, was that my son and I, who wants to, by the way, wants to get him, he wants to, he's in Dallas. He wants okay. To, he wants to hook up with you there. But uh, years ago, when I brought him up playing junior golf and everything, Jimmy Ballard was there. Yeah. So uh, the big old left to right hard turn. Yeah. So him and I have been fighting that ever since. Uh, and that's part of my problem is that gotcha. you, you know, I, from the top I'm casting, can't get out of that. I've been doing the nine to three drill and stuff like that, but okay. you still got that haunting. Me, so sure, sure. Of. Okay. Well, that's easy to fix. We'll get rid of that today. Well, let me watch you hit a couple. We'll put a couple on video and see All what's right. going on here. All right, let's take a look. All right, so we'll start with face on on the left. Setup looks pretty good there. No issues here. Not too bad going back. Everything looks pretty decent. Pretty good turn there. And there's where we run into our problems, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Everything was real good up until that That's point. That's right. There you go. <laughs> so the backswing looked great but you've got a little bit of a right arm lift and push at the top, and that's what caused you to start casting the club. And that's why you've got a really, uh, I like to use the term, you've got a really pretty golf swing. It's very rhythmical, it's very smooth, but there's no juice in it. There's no right. oomph, Oh, right? definitely, that's what I'm here. Yeah. I need some power, <laughs> I need some distance. So, so the good thing is, this stuff is not rocket science to fix. This would be really, really simple. Okay. So what I wanna do is get rid of that casting motion first. I want to get you to feel how to get the club started on the right way down. Let's take a quick look down the line here. Not really going to be relevant for what we're doing. Going a little inside and no right shut. arm breaking too much. Yeah, right yeah. arm's breaking down. It's all they all kind of work together, but you don't have to address just the right arm specifically right away when you're working on getting what you're going to do for creating lag because we're going to take that right arm completely off the swing and once you learn how to swing with your body and the left arm and creating lag then the right arm will start to naturally kind of behave a little bit better but we'll have to train a little bit still but well that's what we've been trying to do is create lag and yeah lately okay all right so first things first hop in front of the mirror and what I want you to do, let me move this out of my way. Turn up the blindness. All right, so I want you to go to the top of the swing with your left arm only. Okay, two little things going on. What is your first thought to initiate the downswing? What do you Keep think? In the, in the downswing? Oh, the downswing. The downswing, yeah. Downswing, I know it should be this. Right. Not always me. <laughs> well, <laughs> Here's the trick with it. So do that again. I want Sit you to in, watch yourself right? in the mirror. Watch yeah. yourself during your back swing. And I want you to specifically watch your left knee. Do it again. Just watch your left knee. Okay. Oh, one, right. one more time. Do it again. Look how far your knee moves. So now, in the downswing, your knee at a dress is going to be inside your ankle. For, for most golfers, right? Just going to start there. But you 
you know at impact, it's got to be where? At impact. It's got to be over that, over that foot, right? So if you're starting here, and it's got to go here, and during the backswing, you move it here, we've added a lot of extra stuff that we've got to do in a really short period of time. But we're also taking these muscles and not letting them create any tension. So if you're just doing this and letting your hips over rotate, it's virtually impossible to get everything to fire back really quickly on the downswing. And you can do it, there's a lot of golfers that do, but it's a really dynamic move, it's super uh, timing, it's very difficult to do, versus keeping this a little bit more anchored in. And this starts to get some coil in the left side that allows it to make it a lot easier move back to the left without you having to work so hard. So that's step one, is we need to get prepped for the downswing. That's really what the backswing's for, right? We're setting it up so that when we go down, everything's gonna start to kind of unwind automatically. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna teach you to move your upper body on top of your lower body so that that left knee is gonna stay anchored in there. So go ahead and go to this, go to your setup again. I want you to go to the top, and at first I'm just gonna hold this in here for you. There you go, keep going, keep turning, keep turning. There you go. Now what do you feel on the left side of your body now? Particularly here, here. A lot of, right here. Okay, There's a lot more stretching than right. you're probably used right. to, right? Yeah. Now, what? how far do we have to move to get back in the downswing? It's just there. That's it? That's it, right? That's that knee's gonna go right over the ankle. Now compare that, so go, go to setup again, do what you were doing. You see how all of that tension is yeah, gone. Yeah, do all this. It's a lot of movement, right? Yeah, yeah, I see. Good. You feel how much more wound up you feel mm -hmm. and how easy it is to sit in the left side. Yeah. When golfers yeah. struggle with their weight shift, it's the first thing that I look at is, well, are you making it harder to shift? Yeah. <laughs> and you were making it harder to shift. Still moving it too much, huh? There you go. One other little trick, do it again. One more. I feel like you're on the outside of your foot here, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. That's no bueno either. So go back to address. I want you to imagine that your right knee is pointing at where the ball would be. I want you to try and keep it there in the back so you can keep the knee flex that you've got. Wow. So do you feel more wind up in your lower body? Yes. Here's the whole trick to the swing, the transition where everybody goes wrong. The transition is the hardest part of the swing, right? Going from the back swing to the down swing. Everything needs to be initiated with that lower body. You've heard a million times, you, the swing starts from the ground up. But what does that really mean? Well, you've got to have tension for that stuff to fire. If you can't, if you don't load a muscle, it's not going to, want to unload. So when you're going back and you're letting this right knee straighten up and this left knee kick in, your hips are over, going to rotate, over rotate, which takes all of this coil and tension that I've just helped you build. And gets rid of all of them. So now to start the downswing you've got to do all kinds of stuff to try and wake up all these muscles instead of just loading them right from the beginning. That's really the purpose of the backswing is to load muscles. That's all that really matters. So as you're going back this right knee staying anchored in and not losing all this knee flex forces your hips to stay more anchored to the ground so you can start feeling the ground for leverage. Your legs right now you know, are probably you could swing on a skating rink and it wouldn't lose your balance right? right. Because you're not really digging your feet in, you're not using your legs, and that's what I'm trying to get you to wake up first. And then that will make creating lag really, really easy. Because you're really going to create lag by moving your lower body correctly. Does that make sense? I mean, part of it was, you know, part of what I was trying to do was, you know, to prevent this from hard move left was simply trying to keep my shoulders square. You know, I hear about that. But that never really worked that way. No, you know? no it didn't give me any more distance or nothing. No, it won't. Right. You're, you're missing the forest for the trees, right? You're looking okay. at one little detail that's really a, an effect instead of fixing the cause. I got gotcha. you. The cause is when your lower body's loose and doesn't build any tension, then you're going to have to do all kinds of stuff. You're not going to have time to wake up your lower body and get it to fire back to the left. So something else has to move the club. So what do you got? Upper body and yeah, exactly. Chest and so by you not trying to turn your chest, which in an ideal world is the right thing to do, but you have nothing else to move the club because you're not using your legs. Mm -hmm. So you got to use your chest. So by you doing less with your upper body, you're just going to lose more distance. But as you put leverage back in your swing, so this is the simplest way to think about this. 
if you don't have leverage, you don't have lag, like you were, you're losing a ton of lag coming down, right? you got to make up for that loss of leverage somehow. Typically, the way people make up for that loss of leverage is through rotation. So they cast the club, they feel that they don't have any power from their wrist, so they just turn their chest as hard as they can, right? That's the right band-aid fix instead of, you know, if you're not going to cut out the cancer, right? Mm -hmm. If you're going to cut out the cancer, we got to get the foundation, the building blocks, and it starts right there with your feet. And then we work our way up from there. If your feet are going to the outside, going back, this is a pretty weak position. I'm exaggerating, you weren't this bad. Right. But I saw this happening. You wouldn't throw a ball like that. <laughs> it's not gonna work, right? But that's what you were trying to do. Right, my goal right now is to get your legs to completely wake up in the swing, because they're, they're asleep. And by getting you to feel just a couple little changes with that right knee and the left knee, all of a sudden, you've got so much more coil in your torso you've probably not felt in a very long time. Yeah, no, no, I haven't. I had no idea I was missing that. Yeah, well, that's, that's why little guys like me can pop the ball out there. Yeah. <laughs> so, so go ahead and set up for me again. So right knee, we call this on the website, this is that right knee laser beam or right. laser beam drill. So just imagine your knees pointing there. And the left knee is going to stay, it's going to feel like it's pointing out. No, yeah, it's just going to stay out. It will come in and rotate a little bit, but your vision is going to stay there. There you go. Now, from there, I want you to just use these newfound muscles, the left side of your body, to help get you sitting into that left side with some power and rotate your hips to me. No, I didn't say rotate your chest or head, I said rotate oh. your hips. <laughs> Let's go to the top again. Oh, here we go. Lower, ah, knees moving too much. Keep them anchored in there. I have to think about it. You're going to it first. There you go. You feel a lot more coil now? Yeah. Now use that to shift back to the left. You're doing what's called a closed hip slide. Okay, and okay. I talk about this on a video on the site called closed hip slide. So what you did there, you made a nice turn, but when you shifted, you just slid laterally and kept your hips shut. When you're gonna do that squat move, you squat back to square, because your hips have gotta begin rotating while you're making this weight So shift. this move here, I'm already moved over. Yeah, but we gotta get rotated back. There you go. So what is it, hips? Hips, yep. And now hips. as you post up and straighten this left knee, now move your arms, straighten this left knee, to push your left hip back out of the way. Just you know, your upper body. Just push your hip back. There you go. You're going to rotate your hip so your belt buckle points at me. Not your head. Okay. Throw the club down for a second. Let's just get the body work done. Let's do it again for me. Legs going to stay anchored in. Let's get a nice big coil going back. Good. Now, shift to the left. Now you, you slid your hips closed again, so you got to open. And then there you go. And now so as you shifting and open at the same time. Yep, exactly. And now push that left hip out of the way by straightening that leg. There you go. Straighten it, and you're done. Stay right there. Straighten this all the way though. There you go. Stay right there. Relax this one. There you go. But I want you to feel a ton of work on this left side. Oh. You feel a lot more weight over there than you're yeah, used to. Yeah, it's all up in here now. Exactly. Right? This is the side, the part of the body that helps bring everything down, which is why I need you to load it going back. Mm -hmm. And if you let your hips rotate a lot during the back swing, this doesn't get any load. Does that make okay. sense? So this is what your, your whole consciousness is going over here now. This is what you're thinking about and feeling. Straighten that leg up. There. Post up on it. I want you to be like a big old oak tree. No, no, no. Don't move your shoulders. Move your leg. Big difference. Yeah. There. You've, se really? you've, you've seen those videos where I talk about you hit the ball with your legs. That's where your power comes <coughs> uh -huh. from. This is what you're going to start feeling in your swing. There's ten oh, times more never muscle. Thought of this. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, because I was posted up. I was moving everything up. Yeah, exactly. You, you had the pretty swing, right? You had everything kind right. of working together. It looks it's really a classic good. Classic '60s swing. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So when you start thinking about it, you start getting firm 
and now this glute and this quad and this hand, all everything. All this, yeah, I feel all this tension. Here. Anchor, good. Yeah. That's what we're looking for because when we start learning to do this with speed, you're gonna push that leg into the ground with some authority. There you go. Don't move your arms, hands. forget about those. Just focus on your hips. There you go. Good. Good. Open your hips just a hair more. Perfect. As you straighten up, there. So your hips are going to be about 30, 45 degrees open, somewhere over in here. It's a good reference. Perfect. All these new tensions here. <laughs> totally different gonna feel different right yeah. so but that's where everything in the sequencing and the downswing has to happen if that doesn't fire then nothing's gonna work okay so we've got to wake that up going back and then as we get this starting to initiate the downswing you're gonna create lag automatically because you don't have to use your arms coming down anymore. whereas before you had to if you didn't start to use your arms you'd have no power at all right. so now your whole golf swing your your thinking process has to be okay it's all from here to here that the whole golf swing is happening. And what's happening from here up, I couldn't really care less about right now. So you're going to coil up going back. This knee is going to stay anchored in. You'll see my right knee stays feeling like it's pointing at the ball. And then I'm going to shift, get my hips back to square. And then I'm going to post up and open them. And that will bring my shoulders right back to square. Let's do that a few times. We're going to go through the whole sequence, back swing. I'm going to help remember right knee at the ball, left knee staying anchored in there. All the way to the top, good. Now use that to get you back to the left. Good, keep coming on over, shift over, good. Open up your hips as you do this. So push this, there you go. You're using your left leg, pushing it in the ground to literally push your hip back out of the way and up. Yeah, I feel it. Good. It's so different. Remember, I talk about in the swing, your body, should always be moving in the opposite direction you want the club to go. Right. Does that make sense? Yes, I remember you saying that. Okay, so when you want the club to go that way in the takeaway, which direction are you moving? You're moving this way. Right. You're moving your right shoulder blade toward the target, which makes the club go that way. In the downswing, what direction is the club head moving? Downswing? Yeah. Moving to the left. What's well, moving down, obviously because the ball's on the yeah, ground. But... It's going down in what other direction? This, this way. Out. Right? You've got all this centrifugal force that's making the club go down toward the ball and out away right. from your body, right? Right, because it's over here, it's moving up. Exactly. So it okay. goes, it's three dimensionals, but it's going down and out. It's the simplest way to think about it. So if it's going down and out, what direction should you be moving? Up and in. Up, yeah, exactly. Up and back, right? right? So you're going up and back, moving the hip out of the way. And that makes the club go down and out with your legs. And that creates the lag. It creates the release. The lag is created through the transition and keeping your wrists off. So, as you have, right now, when you're having to think about, oh, sorry about that. I can get this weather back in Colorado. I don't know why I'd come here for this. <laughs> yeah. We kind of rescheduled. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, when you're thinking about going back, or excuse me, coming down, and you're feeling these new muscles on the left side, your brain is probably pretty fixated on that as you're doing it. Right. It's taking a lot of mental processing power to do that. Yeah. You don't have to worry about the club. As long as you keep your left wrist soft and your right arm out of it, and you're thinking about all this, you'll have no choice but to create more lag than you know what to do with, which is what we're gonna do. So I want you to do a few more reps doing just your lower body. Let's get this perfect. And then we're gonna throw that club back in there. Use those legs, get back over to the left. Use that left side. There you go. Good. Nice. Don't be afraid to be aggressive at this. Really wake up those legs. There you go. Good. Never would have thought this, Bruce. I don't know what my job's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Video it. <laughs> there you go. Hold the thing. <laughs> Let's do a little less hip rotation going back. Remember, we want to feel that coil going back. Oh, yeah. Legs. There you go. Good. Good. All right. Now, 
Take the club, flip it upside down, just hold it by its hosel, left hand only. Go to the top. All the way to the top, finish your turn. Now, shift back to the left. Forget about the club, just focus on your left leg and hip just like you were. Back to the left, post up. There you go, perfect. Keep doing yeah, this. This thing does this. What's that? The club, it's already got lag. Exactly. I told you this stuff isn't hard. Teaching how to hit a ball with a stick. Yeah, Alright, let's take a quick look. That's obviously just a half swing. But look where the club is. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. Right? Oh. Great. You got all the shaffling in the world. And it's all oh. created by just these two little things. So, oh geez. Hurricane force winds here. I left here to get away from the hurricanes, <laughs> by the way. That was at least one of the reasons. We put this down. So, so when the storm was coming, you got in the, you I got the motor home and took <laughs> off. <laughs> Something like that, exactly. <laughs> So, the whole thing that you need to focus on is creating a little bit of tension in your trunk, your core. Okay. You, you want to use those muscles. You can't use them if you don't load them up, right? right? You can't jump very high by standing. But if you squat down, you can yeah. jump, right? Same thing is true in the swing. You've got to load up those muscles in the back swing, get them to initiate the downswing, and lag happens as a byproduct. You don't try and create lag. It's not a cause, it's an, okay. it's an effect of doing the other fundamentals right, as you just right. saw. Like you have perfect lag, perfect delivery position, all that stuff, without trying. So now flip the club right side up, left hand only. So now when you're swinging the club and you've got your arm back in here, what's your focus? Yeah, what are you focusing on? Turning your hips, right? Turning your hips where? No, we're trying to not turn your hips that way. What were we focusing on before we added the club? It's all right, we're having a senior moment. It's okay. <laughs> senior moment. He's almost 70 now. <laughs> it's okay. Short so, span. So our, <laughs> so our focus going back. That's okay. Our focus going back was keeping the right knee laser beam oh, drill. Yeah. Left knee anchored in and feeling this tension, right? Right. So when you add the club in there, guess what your focus is? Same thing. That's right. That's the answer I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about the club. That's the point. <laughs> there you go. Good. Chuck, he was a CPA. You got to. Ah, geez. That there. explains a lot. from numbers, though. <laughs> okay. One little trick. Go to the top again for me. Leave your arm up here. Don't try to bring your arm down. Right. Your hips have got to pull your arm down. So imagine I was going to hold this. I was going to fight you. You were going to have to use your whole body. Because I'm pretty strong. You're going to have to really, there you go, use those legs. And now look in the mirror. This is how you create absurd amounts of light. We don't want this much light. But I'm trying to get you to feel mm -hmm. that even though this club doesn't weigh very much, you got to imagine that I'm fighting you. You're going to use your whole body, not just your arms and hands, to create power in the swing. And now that you're using your trunk, you can feel that. There you go. Leave that club up there and use your legs to bring the club down. Does that make sense? There you go. Now, go ahead and soften your arms and let the club release, just like you were. So focus on your legs. It's the only thing that matters. Awesome. Keep doing it.
How much more lag do you want? That's too much. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Fixed, right? That's mm -hmm. all we need. Mm -hmm. So now the whole trick, I mean that doesn't get any better than that. The only thing you gotta do now is keep doing these drills, focusing on your lower body. Keep doing this, doing this, doing this. You can do it without a club, without your arms, do it inside the house. You know that you don't have to be doing this stuff hitting balls. It's not productive to be doing this hitting balls at first, but I want you to challenge yourself to get to the point where you can do that, just hitting them really easy, and then slowly introduce that right hand back into the mix, right? Okay. So you do that with just, like I talk about on the website in step five, where you reintroduce the right arm, it's fingertips. I literally mean just touch the side of the right. grip with your fingertips video yourself doing like and it still looks like that then you know you're not pushing against the shaft with your right hand but if all of a sudden you start casting the club you know that you're actively using that right hand too much again but again you don't want that much lag that's too much it'd be too hard right. to get rid of it in time well so as part you put, of it is because I move my thumb way over here remember you had a video that said move it from here to here when you're practicing for sure if you're pushing against the shaft yeah. Then, then yeah but you want that thumb there at the top of the swing because it keeps the shaft from falling down into your mitt is what it's for so but you can keep it over there while you're practicing and then you'll have again a ton of lag but when you put your right hand back on there you should see a little bit of loss of lag because that right wrist just doesn't flex back right. quite as much go back as far. exactly and, and you don't want it to so that's where it starts to balance it out so left arm only it should look pretty extreme like that where you have ridiculous amounts of lag as you put your right hand back on there it's going to naturalize itself a little bit normalize itself so does it make sense yes sir any questions for me no sir it's pretty simple great, right great great lesson good that really didn't take very long it. yeah for sure thanks for coming down thank you how much oh yeah oh, you it's know. free man oh thank you yeah it's christmas well, i said i feel like much. oprah you get a car you get a car <laughs> <laughs> well you said that on your video but then you said well this is it's not a very good business decision. It's not a good business model. I admit it. I'm not the best business guy in the world, well, but I'm having fun. To, he wants you to give him a lesson too, but we have to set up a time. I yeah, guess, we're. So. I got five more guys to <laughs> figure that. Yeah. It's amazing. You put out free lessons and people come out of the woodwork. I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So, but yeah, uh, well, hopefully that gets you. Everybody I talk to, Chuck, Chuck I, I tell him you're the swing, you're the touring teaching professional. <laughs> you're, you are the guy. And oh, you, thank you. You know, you, I've been with you. Outfit with uh, for four years, and you can ask Bruce. All the guys we play with, and I'm trying, to, trying to teach them my rotary stuff. Oh, well, thank you. Well, now you can go back and whoop their butt. Yeah, I'm hoping that's <laughs> that was that was what he said. I want to see everybody. Goal. That was my goal. Plus, uh, I'm teaching. Uh, I coached the first year of high school golf. Oh, cool. An astronaut high school. In oh, really? Yeah. So I'm going to get those guys acclimated too so awesome man we we'll look right. forward to having a whole high school team of rotary swing golf there you go man all right thanks again, <laughs> all right so. you betcha thank you it's nice you. meeting you yeah craig is back oh cool craig's a rock star he's great <laughs> yeah.